My name is Mizuta Mariko. I live with my husband and daughter, who is in elementary school. There are a lot of other nice moms who live in this apartment complex that I was able to become friends with. We do PTA activities together, help out with local events, and help each other with our kids when necessary. But within that circle of moms, that is one that gets on my nerves. Her name is Mistress Doi, and she lives in the apartment right across from mine. Since around the time that Mistress Doi's daughter started preschool, She's been the type of mom who always has to one up everyone else. For the next PTA meeting, can we have it at this fancy Chinese restaurant? No, oh, it actually is pretty expensive. It could be a little too much for you guys. Oops, sorry, never mind. Let's just go to the dinner where we always meet. Well, I'm so tired. Picking up and dropping off my daughter from her for lessons today was exciting. Oh. You guys kid aren't taking any lessons? Maybe I spoiled my daughter a little too much, spending all of this time and money on her. She would always say things like that, trying to give off the impression that I'm rich and you guys are poor. I'm normally not the type of person who cares much about stuff like that. But every time I would see her, I started to become irritated. The other moms would also say, "Well." I think it's about time for me not to go and run away when they saw Mistress Doi coming. But it seemed like there were always a few similar moms around Mistress Doi that looked up to her, almost as a celebrity. That also bothered me. I found a really good restaurant. Do you guys want to all get lunch together tomorrow? Oh, I actually have my part-time job tomorrow. Ah, oh, I don't know that you want a part-time job, Mizuta. I'm a stay-at-home wife. My husband said. It's okay if you don't want to work, so I don't really know the struggles of being a walking coop. Me too. If I were to do the part-time job, then I couldn't probably take care of my kids. I'm worried that you would stray from the right path. Exactly. Money is important, but I would rather be able to raise my kids in a loving way and give them all of the attention that they need. I mean, I do work at the part-time job, but I'm back from work before the kids get home from school. But doesn't the housework get neglected? If you skip out on the cooking and cleaning, won't your husband get upset and divorce you? But I guess you need money to live, so it must be tough having a husband who works in a small company. All of the other moms who work the part-time jobs were starting to get irritated, but Mistress Doi didn't seem to care. The reason that Mistress Doi thinks so highly of herself is because her husband works at a big famous company and makes a lot of money. It seems like she thinks that everyone else who works at a smaller company is poor. She says things like, "They are basically living off our money, aren't they?" <laughs> About families where the father works in a government position, I began to despise that woman, and even the thought of her made me sick. I have to see her to take care of the PTA matters, but I can't wait until this school year is over so I can move on, never see that woman again. All of these feelings were pent up inside of me, and I felt like. I was about to explode. Oh man, we have to do wedding too. I don't wanna. Hey, could somebody take my place in cleaning that school today? I did it when I was on duty last month. I can't go either. But if I pull with my nails, we get ruined. I have an idea, Mizuta. How much money do you make per hour at your part-time job? Cleaning up the school should only take an hour and a half, so I pay you two hours of wages. So please go for me. This isn't about money. It's your duty that you signed up for. So go do it yourself. What? You're so stingy for the poor person. I say that I would pay you to do it. So it's fine for you to take my place. Wh- what did she just say? I felt like I was about to explode. But at that time, there were children around, and I didn't want to have the huge fight in front of them. Somehow I was able to hold it in. Mistress Doi used this as an opportunity to politely bully me and the other mom who turned her down. She would do things like push PTA jobs onto us, and whenever she messed up, she would say, "Well, it's Miss Suda's fault." She was being pretty, so they just started ignoring her. But then she even started to harass my daughter. What's wrong, sweetie? When we were on a picnic, my friend and I were tasting each other's lunch that we brought, but Mistress Doi said. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Her cooking's gonna make you sick. She said that our family is so poor. 
that mom has to work, so all we can afford is rotten meat. Mom, is that really true? Of course not. All of the food that I cook uses fresh meat and vegetables. Blood boiling. I immediately called my daughter's teacher. A meeting between his parents and the teacher was held. Of course, Mr. s t o r didn't want to be scolded at by the teacher. She bowed her head and apologized to me. And after that, there was no more trouble with my daughter. But Mr. s t o r didn't seem to be happy about the fact that I tattled Titi on her. From that day on, she started to become even more nasty to me. Oh, hey there! Are you working again today? It must be hard not having enough money to get by. I work for experience, you know. If I stayed at home all day, I started gaining weight like someone I know. It started to become the rich moms versus the normal moms, but the battle was resolved by an unexpected incident. On that day, I was passing out souvenirs from my trip to some of the moms out in front of the apartment complex. Oh, did you go somewhere? I guess there are still few places that you can travel on the salary of small company worker. Oh, what's that? Oh, m a n c h u That's so lame. You didn't even go to Pro, did you? Where would you buy them from? I got them from Izu. Izu? People still go there? Don't say it like that. Even though the resource, that are old and dirty. I'm sure that for Mizuta, it was a very nice trip. Why would she have to take it that far? Why did she b a t t l i n g me for not going on a special trip with my family? I finally lost my temper. I pulled out my phone and showed her a picture. This is where we stay. If you guys want, I give you an invitation to come out sometimes. Let me know if you're interested. Huh? What is that? A cottage? What does she mean by invitation? Maybe she's just not used to traveling since she's so poor. I mean, I invite you over. This is our vacation home. Lately. We haven't been able to go, so they had gotten really dusty. It's all clean now, though, so you guys are welcome to come out whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, right. You rent out a cheap apartment. How do you expect us to believe that you own a vacation home? You mean here? Actually, my husband built this apartment complex. He's working on a second building too, but that's finally calmed down a little bit. So we rent our vacation home in Izu to relax. Oh, really? <laughs> Mr. s t o r and the rich moms all burst out laughing, but after showing everybody the next picture, they all went silent. This is my husband's blog. See, I'm right here in this picture. Here you can see the second building that he's working on. Oh yeah, she's facing the opposite way, but he's our daughter's too. No way! This person is your husband? I seen him before. This is the guy that made a ton of money from investing. Didn't he write a book too? Yep. If we give off the impression of having too much money, we are people will come after us. So he's always saying that we need to live in a modest life. I don't really like being flashy either, so I follow what he says. I honestly didn't want to brag out about our wealth. It made me so mad being called poor over and over. I thought that if I could prove her wrong in one swipe. She wouldn't bully me anymore. This seemed like the perfect opportunity to do so. By the way, my husband doesn't usually look like he does on the block. He usually wears t o r k y glasses and sweats in his daily life, so it seems like the other moms didn't notice him. Actually, my husband thinks that it's annoying when he gets recognized, so he purposely tries to disguise himself. Mistress d o r d and her friends shouted, "That's not true!" and "You're lying." It looked like after going home, Mr. s t o r e did some research. The next day, she looked at me with a pale face and didn't say a word. A few of the rich moms said, "Sorry for not believing you. Do you think that you could teach me about investing?" The rich moms came crawling back to me. It's funny how quickly they changed size. After that, I moved to the new apartment building that my husband built nearby. I heard a rumor that Mr. s t o r e and her husband had got a divorce. Apparently, she spent all of her money trying to appear rich and wound up in a bunch of debt. She spent too much time and money getting messages and her nails done while neglecting the housework. That combined with the debt and that she had racked up, made her husband say, "I can't do this anymore," and file for divorce. I hear that she went to live with her parents again. 
Did the mistress door tell us that if we neglect the housework, our husband would divorce us? This must be karma. I know, I don't want to get involved with what people like that anymore. Since Mistress Doy has been gone, the rich monks that surround her have been pretty quiet. It's finally peaceful around here. From now on, I hope that I can hang out with my other mom friends without having to deal with another person like Mistress Doy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to come and join us again sometime.